Vi står her ved foden af Great Lake, som ligger midt i Tasmanien, for det er lige præcis der, vi er lige nu. Vi har forladt mainland Australia. Tasmanien er stadig en del af Tasmanien, men selve hovedlandet, Australien, har vi, har vi, har vi forladt. Uh, og før vi lige uh, går tilbage til Tasmanien, så synes jeg bare, at det er interessant at, at, at kigge på, på Australien. Nu har vi været hele vejen rundt og set uh, og oplevet en, en frygtelig masse. Og man må sige, at uh, Australien virkelig er, er, er i fremdrift. Der er ved at blive lavet fiber uh, i hele Australien. Deres internet er fra 2001. Hvis man går ind og kigger på websider i, i, i Australien, så vil man se, at de er, er oldnordiske. Uh, der mangler portaler, der mangler websider, der mangler services, der der mangler infrastruktur, der mangler alt muligt. Og selve infrastrukturen er det altså ved at lave. Så over de næste 10 år for alle Australier, på nær dem, der bor inde midt i den ondeste bus, øh, så får de altså adgang til knaldhammerne hurtigt øh, fiber. Nå, men vi er så øh, fløjet fra Melbourne til Tasmanien, der ligger lige syd for, for, for Australien, men stadig en del af Australien. Og øh, det er jo selvfølgelig her, hvor kronprinsesse Mary kommer fra, så vi er kørt forbi hendes gamle skole, og man må sige, at meget af det mener egentlig om færøerne, så hvis hun får for meget hjemmevæg, så er der lige et par timers løbetur fra, fra, fra Danmark op til, til færøerne, så må hun føle sig meget hjemme. Der er for, der er, er bjerge og søer og meget af det. Men vi er på vej øh, til en lille by, som jeg ikke kan huske, hvad hedder så lille af den. Der bor Jan Nielsen, hvor han driver en, en, en restaurant og øh, en lodge, og han kommer altså oprindeligt fra, fra Vesterbro, og det bliver interessant at se, hvordan pokker han har fundet på at flytte fra Vesterbro. Ikke bare til Tasmanien, men altså øh, fra den, på den anden side. Den helt, altså, vi bor i Hobart, det er jo som er hovedstaden, men der bor halvdelen af alle folk i Tasmanien. Men han er altså flyttet over på den helt anden side af, af Tasmanien. Så jeg tror ikke, man kan komme længere væk. Selv kravene er vendt for længe. Så jeg glæder mig til at se, hvad, hvad, hvad Jan har fundet på, hvorfor han kom der til, øh, hvordan hans forretning går og så videre, så videre. Så det får vi at se lige om et øjeblik. Jeg vil stille sige, at det glas af bier skal man tippe det kage. Jeg er jo også slukket af det nu. Tusind tak. Jeg sendte en video til dig også, der ikke lyttede noget til. Nej, ikke til dig. Jeg var bare en tre advisor, bare for at se, hvad der sker. Jeg smed en mail til dig med en video, den video, jeg lavede ude foran den der lille magakonebutik. Der stod jeg og fortalte, hvad det var, jeg havde gjort, og jeg filmede lidt og sådan noget. Ah, right, okay. Det er det sted, hvor jeg stod og lavede det. Men se her, så kan du se, hvor somebody asker. This is a restaurant. This time, they built up, this is not a farm, they built up. When they built upstairs, I got them to this door was actually here, uh -huh. and that was just a garage. Uh -huh. So we built on to this, it's not finished yet, but that would be the coffee shop. Yeah. Okay. We're getting some windows in, doors in here. Uh -huh. okay. So to go out to the courtyard through the restaurant, we go through here. Sure. So this would clearly have a coffee shop, like I said. There's money in the coffee. That's the culture. Yeah, no, it's it an extension of the living room. They'll just yeah. sit there and think, hey, yeah. this is tidy, not yeah. like my home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But as I mean, six years ago we came, I bought two spoons and instant coffee. My coffee was like a strong. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now, if you gave them an instant coffee, they'd probably kill you. <laughs> and it's just in six years. Yeah. No, it's a now, we're going over six years. That's interesting. You know? And that's what I'm saying. You gotta. I couldn't tell you. Come down and make a tour on the river. I don't know. You know? But I, I know within what people eat and what they want. Yeah, stick to your. <coughs> and if that, if that, if you can listen to what they want and you can give it. Uh, but I can give us idea about that. I, I see. She gives all the things after that. Uh, they love it. They come in. And. Yeah, it might only be five, ten dollars, but but to them it's that's irrelevant. 
to them is the feeling, mm -hmm. you know? And you walk past, oh, diamond earring. They don't know this stuff. Uh, it's so well done, uh, they don't have no idea, but they notice it. Yeah, you know? that's nice. Yeah. Tusind tak, fordi vi måtte komme og besøge her i Tasmanien. Var det dog et uh, yderst smukt, en, en smuk ø. Mange tak. Kan det, er ikke, det er ikke min ø, men mange tak. Nej, det er det ikke, <laughs> men uh, du bor her. Kan du ikke uh, fortælle lidt om, hvem du er, hvor du kommer fra, og hvordan pokker du ind her? We, jeg kommer fra Vesterbro mm. i København. Kold Bjørnsen skal... Så. Omkring 35 år siden, der en ven af mig, vi ville til Amerika. Så vi gik til Amerika, og jeg sagde til alle mine venner, vi skal, la vi skal forlade Danmark. Jeg er jo omkring 18 år. Jeg har lige, lige um, just finished my, my um, army. Ah, så var militæret. Ja, militæret, ja. Så vi skulle, lave der vi skulle forlade Danmark. Så hvorfor, vi hvorfor vil det? Ah, fordi vi kunne. <laughs> <laughs> så vi tog til Amerika, og vi arbejdede i en restaurant. Mm. Og det, myndighederne fandt ud, at vi arbejdede, så de sagde, at det kan vi ikke. Mm. Men før vi, alle folk sagde til os, at vi ville komme tilbage, at oh, you're gonna be back, you're gonna be back. We got back. And everybody said, see what we said? You will be back. And I thought, no way, I'm gonna go. Så jeg, valg, jeg gik ind til, um, hvor alle ambassaderne er mm. i Østerbro. Yeah, yeah. Og jeg fik en... en, en det er brochure. Brochure. Mm -hmm. og vi, den første, jeg fik tilbage, var i Tyskland. Men jeg fandt, at Tyskland er bare <laughs> you know, next door. Den næste gang, jeg fik, var um, Australien. Han fandt, Australien? Mm, where is that? <laughs> you know? And I thought, no, I'll go there. I'll go there and have a look. And here I am. Så du, Så, uh, hvor, hvor, hvor i Australien startede du med at være? Sydney. Okay, Så Sydney. Vi, vi, jeg har boet i Sydney for for 30 år, og 28 år, mm. og vi har været hernede for 6 år. Mm. Du kom så. så til Sydney der, det vil sige ja. omkring 30 år siden, det vil sige 80'erne. Ja. Ja. Hvad, 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 hvad lavede du? Jeg arbejdede på en restaurant, så jeg har udlæret tjener på Hotel mm. Kong Frederik. Ah. Så ja, så jeg, og min, min oldefar var kok, og min onkel var konditor, så vi så der været inde i det her mm. befag. So, yeah. Ja, du har arbejdet i restaurationsbranchen yeah. Yeah, yeah, og så videre. Yeah, yeah. Så du tog til Australien, Sydney i 80'erne, og så fik du arbejde på en restaurant som yeah, tjener. Yeah. Og så arbejdede du så. som tjener i mange år, eller? Ah, jeg arbejdede omkring to år som tjener. <coughs> og så fik jeg tilbud til at komme ind til en restaurantkæde, mm. The Black Stump Restaurants. Og jeg tog det op, og så var jeg restaurantmanager for en restaurant for mm. omkring syv år. Og så blev jeg... I Danmark tror jeg, de kalder det direktør, mm. så du overser alle restauranterne. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Så vi havde 18 restauranter, så jeg overså 18 ja, restauranter. du havde ansvaret for 18 restauranter. Yeah, ja, ja, ja. ja. No, okay. Så derefter så får jeg, ah, oh, you know, det, det, jeg var der for 20, 22 år. Okay. Og en, anden, en mand, der kom ind på restauranten, sagde, Jan, jeg har et arbejde for det. We go half and half. Nå, så du er det var consultant to, consultant to restaurants. Ah, okay. Så so, jeg yes, finished the restaurant, the Black Stump, mm. and I started it consulting with this guy, you know. And we were there for about a year, we did it, but I couldn't just tell people what to do. I, I wanted to be there to meet the people. Okay, det vil sige, du kom ind som konsulent og fortalte yeah, en restaurant, yeah. hvordan ændrer restauranten, men yeah, du havde ikke yeah. had the hands on. Yeah, yeah. So you just sat in the office and told people what to do, and, and there was nothing. I love meeting people, you know, up mm. there. And, and, and. So I thought, no, I can't do this, you know. So I said to him, I, I, I go, I can't do this, you know. And in the meantime, Black Stump Restaurant went bankrupt. So, and... Another company bought them, but they had great difficulties. So all this sort of fitted in with each other. So he rang me and said, Jan, can you please come back? I'll give you one year contract if you can just do one year for me. I said, yeah, fine, you know, and it sort of all fitted in together. So I went back to the restaurant and I said to him, you know, what do you have to do? You have to franchise. There's the only way this works. The company is too old now. It had some bad experience, franchise it. Yeah, okay. 
Det vil sige, at altså, ja. I skulle finde ejer til alle, hvad er det, ja, alle altså, en, restaurant? Ja, altså en eller? restaurant vil have en ejer, ja. men, men de, det er stadigvæk et hovedkontor. Ja, altså... Ja. Det, ja, altså det, like altså, McDonald's ja, ja, and all ejer, the Der er nogen, der ejer på konceptet og navnet og alt ja, det ting ja. der, og så finder man en, som så ejer den ja, ja, enkelte ja. restaurant og driver den og betaler en franchise-afgift ja. for at få brug navnet og konceptet ja, ja, og så ja, videre. Ja. Så han sagde, ja, okay. Så... So, um, To dage før min, min øhm, kontrakt udløb, mm. ringede han mig og sagde, Jan, jeg har et franchise for dig. Jeg sagde, oh, I'm leaving in two days, I don't really want to go. You know? and I, I got some other things I want to finish up. Mm. Oh, please, please, please. I said, no, I'm not doing it. And by the way, where is it? And he said, Tasmania. And I, I remember I laughed at him and I thought, who want to go to Tasmania? You know? And I said to Milka, <laughs> Milka, remember on the weekends we go out to Sydney Heads and we sit to have barbecue up on the hill and we see this red boat come past? Mm. That's from Tasmania, you know. So we just laughed. And we got home and Milka said, let's go. Let's go on holiday. You know, I said, now nah, finishing and I, I got some new jobs I want to do. Let us go. And you know, you're going to listen to the woman. So I thought, all right, I'll ring him and say, <coughs> okay, I'll go, but I'll just go down and have a look. And, and that would be a week. When I come back, that's it. Regardless of what the report says, I go. And he said, oh, okay. So um, my daughter lived in Melbourne. So we went to Melbourne first and had a couple of days. And then we came over here. And we landed in Launceston. I have never seen so much rain in my life. We couldn't even drive the car. So I said to Milka, see, I told you, what are we doing here? You know, oh, let's drive. So we went up to Burnie, that's where the restaurant was supposed to be, and <coughs> we did some feasibility studies, you know, if it was worthwhile having a restaurant mm-hmm. there. And everything said, yes, 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 yes. So I said to Milka, why are we doing this? Why don't we do it ourselves? We, we do it for somebody else. And, and, and we got all the studies here, everything <coughs> is good, you know. And she said, oh, I don't know, can you do it? And I said, of course I can do it. So we opened up the restaurant in Burnie, and on the side we were looking how for site. How far? long way is it from here, Burnie? Ah, uh, okay, 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers. Yeah. So very often, so where we put internet a look, what could we get for a restaurant? Mm. Oh, um, about three years since so found we this restaurant in Devonport. Mm. You know. Devonport, the was store that built in relation to. They're pretty Europa. much the same. Yeah, twenty twenty-two thousand people. Ja, hvor, hvor, hvor stor er den i forhold til, altså, hvad, hvad, hvad er det den tiende største eller tredje største på øvrigt? Tasmania, ja. Hobart, ja. Launceston, Devonport. Og tredje største. Ja, så tredje største. Så det er Odense. <laughs> <laughs> Måske en lille smule mindre end Odense. <laughs> Hvis der tænker jeg bare at trippe om. Anyway. Ja, ja. Okay. So, um, we, we found this restaurant. We finished a job in, in, in Burnie and set it all up and just left and all that. But we left on the good terms with the owner mm. up there saying we would be in Devonport. So if, yeah. if there's something we can Kong help Wang, you with. Yeah, but Kong Wang yeah. was not for no, 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 30 no. km yeah, from Yeah, yeah. So I said, if anything we can help you with, you know, mm. we will do any training we can do down mm. here. But we have, we independent. We don't have anything to do with the name. I don't work for the company. Mm. And um, yeah, we started here and the rest is really... It's history, you know. Mm. We 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 had when we bought the restaurant, we called it Baron's Char Grill. That was the name we bought. Mm. Before we could get into the restaurant, we went around in the city just speaking to people, have coffee, and oh, what do you think about Baron's Char Grill? And we got all negative comments, you know. Mm. And I said to Mirka, we have to change the name because experience. You, you can put all these signs up on the new management and uh, it doesn't men, work. Men, 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 altså, så det du siger, det er, at, 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 at da I allerede havde købt restauranten, yeah. så fandt I ud af, at den havde et utroligt dårligt ryg. Yeah, så, yeah. Og så, så er det et spørgsmål om simpelthen, at man er nødt til at lave et, et kæmpe skift, hvor man yeah. siger, at den hedder ikke bare under en ny yeah. administration, nu, nu, yeah. nu hedder den noget helt andet. Yeah, yeah. So we, Milka said, what about this name, Danibro? And I thought, oh yeah, to me it's an easy name to say, Danibor. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, let's call it Danibor, you know. But there was a backlash because people wouldn't say Danibor, they would see, say, Baron's Char Grill. 
but a new restaurant now. That's how they would refer to us. Ah, oh, så de kunne ikke finde ud af at udtale Danne Brock. Danne Brock, yeah. Danne Brock, yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, we made some some radio campaign, you know, how to pronounce the mm. the name and and we just gone from there. So from men from. Tror du ikke, tror du ikke, det var en fordel så? Yeah, I, I folk think. Folk begyndte at snakke om, hvordan du udtaler, men du snakkede også om, at folk troede simpelthen, at du hed Danny Brock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my name is Danny <laughs> and my surname is Brock. <laughs> so, you know. We just recently made a TV campaign where where the waiters are referred to "Hello, Danny," you know, <laughs> to to sort of just build on that idea. And we had customer think, "Yeah, I told you so. His name is not Gan. His name is Danny. <laughs> I told you, you know." <laughs> so we made we made a lot of fun with that name, and and it has been it has been sort of a a, a plus, you know. We've been on the Danish radio game for the name, you know. The SBS radio, you know, mm. oh, Danish, you know. Even we're not much Danish, we just got a Danish name. <laughs> so, yeah. Vi kan lige vende tilbage til forretningen om lidt, men for, for lige at vende tilbage til lidt, da du, da du, da du kom til Sydney dengang, hvordan tog yeah. Australien imod dig? Altså, var det svært at falde til? Nej, det var ikke. Det, det var let. Det var let, ja. ja. Jeg, jeg taler ikke ret meget engelsk, så restaurantengelsk kunne jeg tale, men, men sort of go out. Nej, det var... Det var. Du var lidt for venner. Ja, ja, ja. People would ask you into their home, you know, you were new, you know. And I think, and I'm not a racist, my, my daughter's married to a Chinese, I'm, I'm far from racist. But I think if you're just a white mm. man, it, it's a little bit easier, there, there, there's a little bit more trust because mm. we're one of them, mm. you know. Whereas the others are, and especially Tasmania, they're a little bit funny that way, you know. If you're different color, they sort of look at you. Mm. But if you're in Sydney, yeah, there was a multi, multicultural yeah, yeah. But this Tasmania <coughs> is still 100 mm. years behind everybody else, so they're still getting used to that. There, mm. there is other people out there, mm. you know. What is it about as a dance? Because you say you share that with hair color, if we can like it or not, it's a advantage in reality. But but have you also what are you going to do in Tasmania, where the Crown Prince is from? Yeah, that's a plus. I can't even go and ask her. That is a plus. That is a plus. Yeah. She's been amazing, that woman. Not knowing what she's done, but we get people in the restaurant all the time, and I say, "What do you do here?" Ah, oh, we want to see where Mary lives. You know. Mm. And I think she's just done great. And and especially speaking to people, they say, you know, what does the flag mean or the name? And they say the flag. What flag? You know, they think we're Switzerland or, or <laughs> some African country. You know. Vi har det eldste flag i verden. Yeah. <laughs> de andre kommer efter os. Yeah, and the the end of it. The end of it. So the what were we talking about? Yeah. Om, hvis det er omkring uh, kronprinsessen, yeah, yeah. og hvordan de opfatter yeah, danskere, so, og, og så videre. Så so efter with, with Mary thing there, you know, people sort of got wanting to know about Denmark. Because if they know about Denmark, they know where she is. Mm. So yeah, it's, it's been a big Men der var ikke nogen, der kendte hende før, vel? Altså hun var bare en almindelig pige, oh, der no. rundt her. Everybody in Tasmania went to school with her. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> went to school. You know, oh, ja, you, ask, måde, you ask them, oh yeah, we went to school with them. Det mener, det er, at, at hun, hun, hun var altså før kronprinsen, var hun vel bare en almindelig pige, der rendte rundt her oh, og, yeah, og festede yeah. ind i Sydney, hvor hun mødte ham på en pop eller et eller andet yeah, stil. Ja, yeah. ja, slip in. Ja. Nå, men you ask the Tasmanian people, they, they sold her a loaf of bread, or they did her hair, or oh, yeah, they sold yeah, her. Altså. <laughs> and they know her, they know who she is. You know? But they don't know where she went. And that's where we come in. A little country right up there. Ja, yeah, du har også yeah. fået uh, på over på restauranten sådan et, en pil og pege med 12.000 yeah, yeah. <laughs> km over til en lille havfru. Havfru, ja. Yeah. Udefra, det er bare sjovt faktisk med sådan et vejskilt og det hele, ja. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hvad, 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 hvad er fordelen ved at bo i Tasmanien? Altså nu sådan rent personligt, altså hvad, hvordan, hvordan er der at bo her, når det, det er en ø, ikke? Eller hvad er det en halv million mennesker eller sådan noget, der bor her? Ja, yeah, 500.000, ja. Yeah. Ja, yeah. hvordan er det? Um, in the start is probably hard, because... Everything we get is coming from the other side. Mm. So the post, everything goes to Hobart, which is, it's not a day, it's three hours away, but, but for any post, it's a day away. So I send a, a letter to <coughs> Bernie, which is 50 kilometers away. It has to go to Hobart, to the mail exchange, and then to, to Bernie. 
So everything takes an extra day. And in the start, we've got really, you know, we want this today because in Sydney is very fast. Mm. We want <clears throat> this today. And, but yeah, this is an island. You know, it takes a little longer. So, yeah, you get used to it. Mm. And, and the weather is beautiful here. It is, it's not hot and it's not cold. It's just perfect every day. Mm. Perfect every day. Solen skinner meget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, got, we got the highest sunshine in, in all of the state. So, i, so, i hele Australien, der er det i dem, We got the high, not the hottest, mm. but the, the highest amount of ja, hours. Ja, flere solskinstimer. Ja, solskinstimer, ja. ja. Ja, det kan man jo så. godt uh, misunde i Danmark lige nu. Der ved jeg lige nu, yeah. der er minus 18 grader yeah. i Danmark flere steder, og det sneer og, og så videre. Og det er måske stadigvæk morsomt, men uh, jeg vil sige, at om en, en måneds tid, så har man det være rigtig godt træt af det i hvert yeah. fald. Så, uh, yeah. Er der noget, du savner fra Danmark? <coughs> Nej, no, jeg, jeg kunne se i starten savnede jeg lidt kris. Nej, nej. You become one of these people here, and, and, and You know? Men jeg kan sige, at yeah, restaurant yeah, yeah. hedder Dannebro, ikke? og yeah. du har billeder af den lille havfru, og yeah. du har lidt Tivoli Garde der, og yeah. du har sådan lidt klenodier yeah. fra... fra Men Tivoli, fra Tivoli Garden er uh, uh, en, en dansk mand, der uh, en uh, sign writer. Mm. He made that. And he had it in this other house, where the guy he gave it to was Australian. Mm. And when he got to know me, and I was Danish, he went to the guy and asked him, Can I take that photo or that painting? Mm. Because I know a Danish guy now. So he took it out of the guy's house to give it to me. And that's mm. how we got it. Ja, and then we made it into our little, mm. little man now. Mm. Har du stadig venner og familie i Danmark? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Mm. Jeg snakker med min mor hver søndag. On, on um, um, Skype. Yeah. Yeah, jeg, bought, jeg har købt en lille um, iPad for hende. Mm. Så hun går rundt i garden og siger, this is my little strawberry plant and my little... Fantastisk. Rose. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, men I, I think we, I started this Facebook thing about a year ago mm. to find my old friends because I left before everybody knew what we were going to do. Like 18, mm. how many people know what they're going to do? Not many. And when now we 50, we've done what we had to do. So it's like a time capsule. What did you do, you know? And in a start, it was, it was very interesting to hear all my friends what they did. But 99% of them, all they did was we waiting for a pension. Ah. Uh. You know, and I thought, oh, wow, man. That's the last thing I want to wait for is my pension. Because if I get the pension, what's after that? Yeah. There is not much after that. So, you know, we, we hear a bit more. Ja, nu, yeah. tror jeg, nu tror jeg, at der er mange danskere, der også der har det som dig, vil jeg så sige, men yeah. øh, det tror jeg er sådan en global, altså der er nogle folk, som, øh, som yeah. går og venter på deres pension, og, der nu, og så skal livet rigtig gå i gang, ikke? Yeah. altså buha, så er der, så har vi tid til det ene og det andet, altså, som regel den slags mennesker, de får et hjerteslag måneden efter, ikke? Yeah, og så, yeah. så, og så kan folk... But that was disappointing, so, so back to the, do I speak to people, mm. yeah, I, I did, mm. and as soon as I found out what pretty much what they were up to, It sort of faded away Doesn't because depressing. yeah, because I didn't want to be part. You know, you are who you're surrounded by. Mm. So if I surround my life around pensionists, I would be a pensionist. If I surround my, yeah, if I surround words. you know the, the successful people, I would be successful. They, they would make me successful. So the portal, as actually, oh yeah, mm. oh absolutely, but I got to do it. customers, yeah. I will always be more around all the influential people and not to neglect the no, smaller no, people. But I, I will be a very big point of, you know, when, when the big South Fuhr come in or, or the mayor or... Is that something you've always done or something you've learned? Yeah, I think, learned? no, yeah, yeah, I taught some... When, when I worked at Kong Frederik, mm. I had to every morning read the paper mm. so I knew what was happening. That was so, part of the job? Or? Yeah, yeah, wow. they, they taught me that. So. I had to. It was not part of the job. One guy told me, Jan, I'll give you 15 minutes, read the paper. If anybody comes in, you know what's happening. And I think it just grew on me. And, and every time he said, today we're getting this person in. So it could be the guy from Beefy the Gin. 
he will change all the gin to bee feeder. So when the guy come in, wow, you only got bee feeder gin. And it just grew on me and that's what I do. Mm-hmm. And that's what our success is, you know, that, that nothing is too much, you know. And, and if, if these people come in, we make sure whatever they want, they will get, mm. you know. And, and that's how we built the restaurant. And we, we got a very <coughs> successful restaurant. And now it's people come to me and want to be part of me. So now I'm not really part of them anymore because now I'm up here with, with mm. all the... Big Hvad gør der så bliver du ved med at prøve at finde nogen der er mere succesfulde oh, end dig? Oh yeah, yeah, we don't stop. And then we we bought this lot, you know. So now we're trying to find out what are we gonna do to to keep that cream. They, they got the money, so you don't have to hassle. Oh, how much is this? How much is that? We want a room. We want a dinner. And here's a credit card. Mm. Not how much can you do this for? How much mm. can you do that for? So. To us it's important because we are getting old. Mm. If we can get all this settled before mm. we... Hvor gammel er du før? 52. 52, ja. Yeah, yeah. So if we can get all this fixed now, then, then the business just roll over. And mm. then the fort is, the restaurant, very successful, very busy. We, we won't sell it, mm. but we'll franchise it. Mm. So if we can start that as one franchise, And I get time now to build the next one because mm. it would just be a replica of that. Mm. And from my time in Sydney, working in 18 restaurants, it's, mm. it's pretty, nothing is easy, but it's pretty oh, easy. Ah, it's for Yeah, yeah it, it's not unknown. I'm gonna, not going out to unknown territory. Mm. You know, I'm going to know this is what we have to do. Mm. So that's sort of the aim. So this is our next day. And that will just bring the... Mm. Men jeg kan også se, at altså, vi spiste på den restaurant i går, yeah. og dejlig mad for yeah. øh, øh, Men det var sjovt at se, hvordan du, øh, at, at, at du meget, at selvom du har en hel del personale, der går rundt, er du meget på gulvet selv. Altså, jeg kan mærke, at jeg så bemærke for eksempel en af tjenerne serverer noget, og, og glemte at give bestik med. Øh, og du røg straks hen med, du ved, at lade det sjov med, med gæsterne, og sagde, ja, desværre, yeah. den, den dish, jeg har bestilt, det er... Det er en spis med fingrene, det er, yeah. <laughs> så det er sådan det spe- specielt ved denne her. Så mens tjeneren hentede bestikket, så stod du underholdt dem og, og yeah. reddede situationen, så de glemte yeah. at blive irriteret over det, men yeah. så havde grinet af, at du fortalte, hvordan de skulle spise med fingrene, og du var en del af part of the, yeah. part of the dish, og, og yeah. så videre. Du, er du, du er sådan meget på på gulvet? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. I, I think today you have to. You have, mm. People expect you mm. to be there, and, and you know, where is he, you know? I'm the front man in all our, our ads and all that. I'm always there. So the worst thing you can do is people come. He's not here. Hvad vil du så gøre, når du franchiser noget klon dig selv? Yeah, <laughs> but that's another story because they would know now mm. we finished, you know. But we keep we keep the mm. same thing, and hopefully we'll find somebody who'll do the same thing, and. I would still be there. I would still go down there, have a cup mm. of coffee. So, so it just people. They're very funny. They own you. You know, they want to be mm. yeah, to yeah. go back. Kenner ham der har restaurant, yeah, exactly. ligesom Mary og du ved yeah, yeah. name drop lidt yeah, og kom exactly. ind og be a regular, kom ind og blive uh, high bent, uh, yeah, yeah. high Johnny og sådan yeah, yeah. noget. Uh, people, lo- I love it too. I, I go <coughs> to the, the bank. Yeah. yeah, I go to the bank. Hey, Jan, you know, and you go. To, we go to the bank. We won't stand in queue. Jan, come over here. We fix you up straight. Yeah, they can you godly. So, you know, it. Yeah, it's a bit of, of, of nonsense, but we love it, you know. And yeah. but I'd make no difference. I do the same to people. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, if people be there a lot, you know, we look after them and they give mm. a little bit. The guy that just come in from the street first time, you know, mm. but he will come back because he got a good, and then he will start getting a little bit, you know, and, and that's how it works. Så det, det er en del af det at bygge en succesfuld restaurant, det er at være på gulvet og få alle gæster til at føle, at de er lidt mere specielle yeah. end ham ved siden af. Yeah, yeah. Altså, er der andre, altså hvis du, nu, nu kunne jeg se, da vi kom i går, der var fuldstændig fyldt med folk, at de var glade, og de fik mm. deres bad, og de spiste mm. og betalte, og der var en god stemning yeah. og så videre. Så, så, så det ser ud som om, det er meget succesfuldt. Hvordan bygger man en, en, en succesfuld restaurant? Hvad er hemmeligheden ved at, at, at gøre det godt? Value. Value. Altså value. god mad til god pris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just value. And mm-hmm. I think what it is is like I said, you know, the owners there. So if there's a problem, it, it's not 
it's not fixed by by somebody else. It's fixed by the owner. And when they go out and tell, we went to Danibor, we had a terrible meal, but the owner came and fixed it up for us. Then, you know, the, mm. there's pride in, you know, it's not just some guy sitting in the back office and counting the money. Mm. He's actually <coughs> there. And people like that, they, they, they believe in you because you're not just making the machine, you know, mm. you, you're actually there, you, you, you help them, you, you fix the problem with them. And I think that's a success, mm. that there are people like that, you know. We bought, going back to the lots we bought here, and our idea is, we got a house about five minutes from there, and our idea is, people lock in here, get the key, we go back, but people want to see the owner here. They want to they wanna have breakfast with the owner, you know. And I think the same thing is in restaurant. People want to see the owner. Are you for to it up? Also, the work, work too hard? Yes, nah. At du skal være alle steder hele tiden, ikke? Altså, du kom sent i seng, at du var også den første op, ikke? Ja, yeah, no, but the, the, I said that before we bought this, like, we mm. didn't really want to buy it, but it was just such a steal that you couldn't say no. We were quite <coughs> happy just to stay in the restaurant, but mm. if an opportunity come and, and they, they marry each other, you mm. know, we get guests here, mm. where are you eating tonight? Ah, oh, we don't know. We go to the restaurant. And same in the restaurant, you had too much to drink. You, should, you, should, you couldn't drive. Du har også på menukortet har nogle reklamer yeah, for lodging yeah, yeah. og, og so, så videre. So now we saw it, it's, it's one but two buildings, mm. but it's, it's very much one. Like bigger company uses us here to mm. stay for two or three weeks at the time. They have breakfast here. And they have dinner at a restaurant. Men hvorfor laver du ikke breakfast der over sender folk der over der har i køkkenfaciliteter og alt? Nej, fordi folk her bed and breakfast mean you know I can mm. go in pajamas mm. and go and have my breakfast, have my breakfast in pajamas, you know no shoes, have my breakfast, go back to the room, get all fixed up, go to work, and then come back. Okay. So to go to pajamas down to the restaurant would look a bit odd, mm. you know, but that that's what bed and breakfast is, you know, even you get travelers for one day or two days, they will go into the breakfast room in, in you know, curls in the hair and then, mm. and, and that's, we did not know that, you know, like I said, we had the aim, just give the key, we go back in our house and have a nice time and come back in the morning and, and let people out and breakfast work on a be at the restaurant. Mm. But we soon worked out, you know, no, 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 no. People want to see you there. It's 24 hours, you know. People tra- check in late. Mm. I mean, we, we know when they check in, they tell us, you know, we'll be at that time. But the plane sometime might be late. And the latest, the late Devonport plane comes <coughs> in about nine. So if that delayed about an hour, that's 10. Before they get out of the airport, it's 10.30. So it can be 11 o'clock. So... We learned very quickly. No, nah, we better stay here. So. So you bought some fysisk care here. Yeah, so we upstairs here. We. I just saw the other house. No, 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 no. <laughs> so um, never know what's going to happen. Oh, that's true. You know, so one person might come and say, you know, we give you ten million dollars. So here you go. We go back to our little house. So. No, we haven't sold that, no. Men med hensyn til sådan en, for at vende tilbage til restauranten, altså en, en stor del af succesen i restauranten var også personalet, ikke? Altså medarbejderne? Ja, yeah, to a degree, you have to train them, but, but again, Tasmania is on very little people, and, and you got, I keep saying to staff at, at the restaurant, and in a nice way, mm. that unless, that if they went to Sydney and worked, they wouldn't have a job, because the mass of people, mm. So, altså det du siger, det er, yeah. at, at der vil være lettere at finde talent. Yeah, så de yeah. under 4. So here, division, så de er heldige, de bor på en ø. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here, we have to work what we got. Yeah. And, and that's a hard part. And that's probably one of the things, I have to be there all the time. Because, mm. Men det er vel lige så stort et problem for konkurrenterne. Altså, oh yeah, no, it, this is an island problem. You know? mm. It is very much a welfare thing, you know. Oh Peter, we got no work for you today. Jan, don't worry. I get the money from from Arbeids for Middelsen, you know, so the the government tops up where they don't ah, they okay. don't what make. So they got it more flexible. Yeah, yeah. So say <coughs> so say, I I don't know the figures, but just say it's two hundred dollars a week is the minimum. 
So if I give them 100, then they will go to, to Centrelink, they call it here, and get the other 100. So, you know, it, it's pretty flex here. So. Ja, det lyder. Men, ja. men, det, men, men, men de er jo det ansigt udad til, hvis en, en, en tjener kommer hen til en kunde og, og ikke opfører sig pænt og så videre, så mister du måske en kunde. Ah, ja. Nå, no, men han vil miste hans job. Ja. Ja, ja. Nå, men hvordan motiverer du dem til at smile og til at, altså, hvordan motiverer du dem til at give en god indsats? Ah, I think... I think it's it's about they see you what you do mm. and they want to be like you. Mm. As I want to be like Southfield, you know, they want to be like me. They can see we're successful mm. and, and they want to be like us, like Milka as well. Milka used to work there as well, she so uh, used to uh. do night shifts. So they know how we operate and, and they strive to be like that in, in in a sense, you could say that. So det med at være et godt forbillede og yeah, vise yeah. hvordan man smiler og hvordan man yeah, gør yeah. og så videre og så yeah. og så mener du så kommer det mere og mindre af sig selv. Yeah. And we, because it's an island and it's very much in in winter time is very slow. There's not much to do, mm. you know. Which means now these people can make again. It's not real figures, but they can make four hundred dollars work in the restaurant. Mm. But the minimum minimum wage is two hundred. Mm. So that means working for me, they can make double of what they could mm. around the corner, you know, because we're busy all the time. So the hours are there. Mm. So they want to keep their job because it means a better living for them, okay. you know. And so they, they see, okay, we're successful. We just done this. We mm. done that. Let us be like them. And I teach them like I got taught, you know, read the paper in the morning, mm. know what's going on. A customer come in and ask about how's the flood in Queensland. Can you answer that? Only if you read the paper. So they read the paper now in the morning before they start just to make sure they got the bearings about the happenings. So they can tell me or Yeah, yeah. So, so when a customer comes and, and it doesn't matter what, what it is, you know. We used to have games when we started the restaurant, you know. Find out where they live, you know. And then we'll come, oh, he's from this and that. And then you know, find out if he likes orange marmalade, you know, and they will go, if doing work, that somehow will get out of you if you like orange marmalade. <laughs> That's a fun know? game. So, so and it, it just built their confidence about talking about anything you uh, can talk about, you know. So, so do you also do something else? Oh yeah, it's a game, it's a game, yeah. Wow. We, we play little, not in, these people, all these people, pretty been from the start. Så so they, they've been through the game, so we don't... Om det er rettigt, det er meget interessant, fordi det går godt, jeg kan tydeligt mærke på dig, at det er just, that's just business, I mean, men for, for mm. mange andre, altså, altså det, den der, det har jeg aldrig hørt før, for eksempel, det er jo en enorm interessant idé, yeah. at det er at, at spille spil med sine sin, sin medarbejdere, sine yeah. kollegaer, for at få dem til at interagere, altså til at interagere med, med, yeah. med, med kunderne, og den slags yeah. kunderne vil jo sikkert synes, ej, hvor er jeg en vigtig person siden, de spørger om min marmeladevaner, yeah. mens, uh, mens medarbejderen lærer, at det skal okay at spørge om hvad som helst. Yeah, altså yeah. egentlig bare, at man får dem til at føle sig velkommen. Det er det, der er ideen, ikke? Ja, ja, det er så de kan... til at åbne sig op. Ja, yeah, så de kan... A lot of people are shy, you know, and, and I suppose <coughs> hospitality is on the bottom, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't go to school, but you can work in a restaurant. You know? yeah, I mean, uh, so Disney to make day. their job, it's not just, you know, serving because you go to some restaurant, you know, and it is serving. Boom, see you later. Mm. You know, boom, see you later. Have a nice meal. Have a nice day. But to me, it's more than that. You know, that they give that experience. Sometimes we're busy. We don't have much time to do it. But it is a game. You know, mm. make them people feel wow. You know. And if you can så du prøver, så, så du prøver du, altså, for, så forstår du ret, så det du siger, det er, at, at det arbejde i en restaurant, det er low status, men du, yeah. du gør det en, en dyd ud af at, 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 at gøre det high status, yeah, altså yeah. at de føler, at, at de har et vigtigt job. Yeah. Hvordan, yeah. Hvordan, hvordan gør du det, altså udover med games og så videre, hvordan, er, er der andre tricks til at, at få medarbejdere til at føle, at de er betydningsfulde? Du kan tage McDonald's for eksempel i Danmark. 
Man kan, I mine øjne kan man næsten ikke, altså hvis, hvis nogen har spurgt, kunne du tænke dig at arbejde øh, med at, at lave burger på McDonald's for eksempel? Jeg tror ikke, det, det er ikke noget, der er smart at sige på et diskotek til en pige for eksempel. Yeah. Det, er ikke, det er ikke noget, man kommer hjem til sine forældre og siger, I cornered yeah. it. Uh, jeg, jeg, altså, min, 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 min pointe er, at McDonald's vinder øh, med altså, årets øh, bedste virksomhed i Danmark. Altså, det, det sted, for, at folk kan bedst give de arbejde, har de vundet 20 år i træk snart. Yeah. Det er jo fantastisk. Altså, så de gør også noget af det her. Hvordan gør yeah. du? But this, what I go, what I do is that that this little girl was living in a, in, in a housing commission, housing commission like a, a commune mm-hmm. rooms, you know, where they only pay two dollars, you know. She's an important person. How do you know she's important? Because she's just over there and speaking to the mayor about if if she likes marmalade, you know. Mm. And she can now go around and say, I know what the mayor eats I know in the morning. What the mayor eats. So now she becomes an important. How do you know that? You know, so you make them important by mm. surrounding by by oh. successful people. So, you know, I speak to the mayor, and and Elizabeth speaks to the mayor. Mm. So she must be as important as me. Oh. But the mayor remembers Elizabeth because she had this strange question: mm. What marmalade do you like? You know. So now, you, you, outside the restaurant. The mayor probably wouldn't recognize Elizabeth, but I bet you as soon as he gets in, ah, hello, Elizabeth. Yeah. So now she feels, wow, oh, wow. The mayor knows yeah, me so by the name, yeah, yeah. you know, and that's <laughs> what what I teach because that's the way I got taught, you know, mm. by where I worked. So the job becomes now, you know, the bakery assistant. Ah, have you ever served the mayor or something? Oh no, when the mayor come in, the boss runs over and serve, you know. Oh. I don't do that. I, I, they're part of me, they go with me. Mm. Today I'm busy, you know, I, I'm serving these people. Mayor comes in, Elizabeth knows the mayor. Elizabeth knows where the mayor sits. And the mayor knows Elizabeth. So now her job becomes, wow, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, go you know, to, uh, uh, I'm going uh, up to uh, uh, <coughs> Sevilla, you know, the mm. bank manager, the mayor, mm. the, you know. We got some big industries here, probably Cement Australia, you know. Mm. And we get some, I mean, these guys are on millions of dollars a year. But when they come, they know Elizabeth. Mm. Hey, Elizabeth, you know, can I have a beer? And that makes Elizabeth, wow, man, I'm worth something, mm. you know, because these people know me. So that that's sort of how we work, you know. That that from a little job it becomes an important job. You know? mm. I mean, if you got an important job, you got a good job. Yeah, yeah you know, because it's not everybody can have an important job. Mm. You know, you're not just you know serving mm. and walk away. You know? Men hvordan men hvordan markedsførte din forretning? Da du startede op her, der fortalte du her, at du kom til at købe et <laughs> et, 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 et en restaurant med en masse lige i lasten. Yeah. Du startede ud på minus 10 i stedet yeah. for på 0. Altså folk tænkte, åh oh, nej, under new management, det er fint. Det er ikke yeah. den gamle skøde restaurant, hvor man fik dårlig mad og dårlig service. Hvordan fik du du, du, du valgte et usædvanligt navn, som jeg er sten sikker på også har hjulpet dig. Yeah, yeah. Men, men hvordan gjorde du? Bare jeg, jeg tror Location, location, they say in Australia. You know? Yeah, du ligger so godt her. We ligger godt, so so we had that one right. Yeah. I knew. I took a couple of people from Sydney with me. I took a chef and a manager with mm. me. So we had three key people. Mm. You know. So now it's just a matter of of you know get the the other people around. Yeah, but I think the, the first for for The first three weeks. The first three weeks we we sold our food. Because we came from a, a good Sydney environment, you know, mm. you know, Sersteveur, you know, and, and you know, Chateaubriand, mm. you know, and people come in and, what's that? What the hell is that? Sersteveur. Yeah. What? Sersteveur. Cooked five times, add a little bit of cream. Sersteveur. Oh, okay. Whatever. You know, whatever. Can you I know? have some ketchup, please? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. And I said to Sonny, Sonny, man, we're doing something wrong here. This is not Sydney. He just wants chips and eggs. Hmm? What about sauce de ver? <laughs> he said he wants chips and eggs. He doesn't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we, after two weeks, realized, geez, I can't afford this. Because, you know, you had dribbling people in. And when you tell them we got sauce de ver, they walk out. 
And I said to myself, we have to do something about this, you know. And I thought, wow, man, what do we do? So I went around like we did before we started mm. to some coffee shop and just sat down and, and just talk about nothing. What do you like and eat, you know? I could do it to customer, but I can do it the other way around. I'm mm. going to a shop and say, you know, what does people here eat? You know, if you're from Sydney. And we quick found out they don't want sauce the word, they want ketchup and chips and eggs, you know. And we changed it after two weeks and we had no sales really for two weeks, you know. And I said to the boys, man, I can't pay you. I'll give you some cigarettes. And they were living with us and we had another house, mm. renting another house, you know. I said, you live with us, I'll just pay you a couple of, you know, pack of cigarettes. So I've got no money. You know, and it, it came to the point, you know, I rang Nicole, my daughter, said, Nicole, can you give me some money? You know? Wow, so you ring the ring and sit in there alone. Yeah, things. yeah, so it was Ooh. bad, you know. But experience of, no, you know, we, we changed the name and we, we serve what they want, not what I think is good. Yeah, yeah. And I have to say, we changed the name three days after. It was like a bus stopping out the front and, and that was it. You know? Så, 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 så det, 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 tog, det tog tre uger, før du ændrede navnet også? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah, så du startede we... med det gamle navn, og yeah. så, så, så også The Verb, eller hvad det yeah, hedder, yeah, du yeah. ved. Og så efter tre uger, så tog du simpelthen, og så ændrede du navnet til Dannebro, yeah. og så begyndte du at putte alting i frityren, ligesom de gør herovre. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a little bit better, but, but that was the point, and, and it's really, it, it hurts your heart, because I can cook. I can yeah. do really good meals, you know? But we have to remember, it's not what we like. Yeah. We're not paying the bill. Mm. They're paying the bill. So we should serve what they want. Mm. So we quickly worked out, you know, this is what they want here. Mm. This is not Sydney, you know. So we could slash <coughs> two chefs, you know, we didn't eat because they didn't want sauce de veau. Everybody could cook an egg, you know. Så so so det var lettere, så so det var faktisk lettere, yeah, det, yeah, det var so folk ville have, så var det basalt set meget simplere mad, de ville have. Yeah, hate. which meant the price came down, we got rid of the two chefs that we didn't need, they were on 60 grand a year, you know, so everything just did a turn, but again, it, it, it was a matter of listening to the people, mm. you know, and that's our success. So mm. we now could give value for money, mm. because we have lesser overheads, mm. you know, we didn't need them chef, we didn't need to, to cook the sauce for three days, you know, mm. we could just not cook it in one day. Hvad var der andre ting gjorde rent altså marketing mæssigt? Altså jeg kunne for eksempel se dernede, hvis man åd 1 kilo, 1,6 oh, yeah. kilo kød, yeah. så får man det gratis. Kan du ikke fortælle hvordan so, den idé kom? Yeah, so we we started then the Australian way of eating, you know, like like let's do the steak and egg and chips, you know, mm. three veggies, you know. That that's how they say, it, three veggies and gravy. So we started that. Oh, and then veggie, they put fritter, eh? Veggies are not vegetable. Yeah, but they yeah. put fritter. Or... Yeah, put fritter, <laughs> yeah. Chips <laughs> and vegetables. Then we go to Jamie Oliver. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, we thought we, we start having a momentum, you know. Mm. But because you have a momentum, you don't sit back. You think you need something else. We need a mm. marketing campaign. We, mm. we know we value. We know people talk about come and have a stay. Mm. But we need something for the young people, we, we seem to get all these old people and two weeks later, you know, one of them will come in, my partner died. And I thought, gee, you know. <laughs> Your customers <laughs> are dying. My <laughs> customers are dying. We need to, to get some of the younger people coming mm. in, you know. And I thought, we're going to have a steak challenge, mm. you know. So the start of the steak challenge was eat an 800 gram steak, chips and salad and your gravy and you get a Carlsberg beer, because nobody knew what a Carlsberg beer was. So I thought, if I have that one, it will sell me my beer, mm. and they will, people don't have one, they will have two beers. Yeah. So we'll buy one, and then they eat their steak, and they'll have another beer. And when you have two beers, they might as well have three beers. So now we're getting into having young people, because they're the big eaters and the big drinkers. So we sort of started that. But it started costing me money because in the start it was an 800, eat it, and you get a free beer. And it started costing me money because everybody could eat an 800. And it, I just keep giving beers out. I thought, this is not a good business, you know. And could you just set the price on the a little bit? No, because it has to correct. What, what, we sort of set a price tag. This is where we want to be. Mm. And starting what everybody else has mm. around us, you know. 
we just want to be in the middle. We don't want to be up here. We don't want to be down there. Mm. So we, we captured mm. the middle of the market, you know. So I thought, no, I've got to go one better. I give them two. So two 800, but they're not going to have no beer. They're just going to get it for free, you know. And that's how we started now. 800 now is just an 800 steak, chips and salad. You eat it, you get a sticker, and you can put it on the famous wall. So you can have your stick on the wall. Yeah, there are mess of stickers. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Or it can be really good, and you can have a double 800, double chips, double salad. You eat it all, it's free. To eat that meal, you can't do it under two hours. You have a couple of friends, they eat their steak in 20 minutes. What are you going to do now for the next 40, they're 60, gonna, 80 minutes? They sit like a bayer, but they sit as when they sit and spill and blow your hole. Yeah, so exactly. So now I'm making money because they're sitting and drinking. Your cars break up and yeah, yeah. the tailor for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and etching him on to eat yeah. his steak. He's never going to finish anyway. And there's sikkert many others that begin to sit around and sit and yeah. So they're never going to finish anyway. They're still going to drink the beer and etch him out. Come on, come on, we haven't got money to pay. You know, so <coughs> so that's the point about that, you know, that 95% of the people will not eat it. So I only got to pay for 5%. How many times is it to eat it? 5% of the time. That Last night there was one guy that did it right down okay. the back. But there was one, there were two people doing it. There were six people, two people doing the challenge. One finished and one didn't finish. But their, their beer intake was like nearly a case of beer waiting for them to finish. <laughs> so in the scheme of things, you know, a beer costs money for me, but the, the reward to sell a beer is probably better than sell a... But it was also something people talk about around him. So him that had finished, he prates very well on the pop and on the work, and then there come some more down and say, that can I also do. And it still stays at 5% will do it, and 95% will fail. Yeah, yeah of course. But the people who do it will go back, even they were blue in the head and, and you know, they're rolling out, gonna go back to be able to say, that was easy. And as soon as you <laughs> say to somebody, you say, oh, I can do it too then, if it was yeah, easy. Yeah, precise. So they go and do it as yeah, well. Yeah, we call it viral marketing, yeah. viral marketing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that's how we sort of marketing now to get the younger people as mm. well. So we very much launch is, is older people. Mm. And when dinner tray comes, it becomes younger. Jeg vil godt se, at der yeah. sad en masse unge i går, men du har noget med, du, du også kører busreklamer og, og, oh, og, yeah, og radio og alt muligt. Yeah, yeah. Kan det betale sig? Again, it, it's trial and error. Mm. We, did, we did radio in the start, and it didn't really work for us. You know? Hvordan måler du, om det virker? Spørg oh, folk, hvor de spør- hører det. Yeah, we sort of, again, part of our job is we talk to people. Mm. And we we do some specific things on the radio, so we we can hear if the I've heard your ad on radio, and people heard it, but I think they don't really. Radio is listened into in the car, yeah. There's not much distance here, mm. they, so they don't sit in the car for very much. Mm. In Sydney, you will sit in the car for forty minutes, uh, you yeah. know. You listen <coughs> to the radio, so you <coughs> absorb that thing. So we thought radio don't work, to to very little bit it works. Newspapers, so we went on to newspaper, people just throw the paper in the bin. Mm. You know, they read the sport, throw it in the bin. Then we came across TV and I thought, I'll give that a shot, but TV is expensive. Yeah. But because we're just a little island, it's not more expensive than the radio. Mm. But every pe- person's perception is it's expensive, mm. you know, until they go and talk about it, mm. instead of just saying, no, that's too expensive, I don't want to. Mm. We went and talked to the to the radio, the TV station, and it's very affordable. But what we got now is, this is Tasmania, at, in winter time, it gets dark really early, five o'clock, and people go home, watch TV. Mm. And there we are on TV. Yeah. And that's just, and again, the, been, uh, been a, a swap around in our business. The boy, uh, internet. We got a little bit on Facebook, but again, Tasmania is like probably 50% don't have internet access. But what about tourists? We we haven't been down that road yet. We with the lots now, we only have a little time. We we 
start marketing on the internet now. Altså tager du sådan noget som TripAdvisor for eksempel? Jeg ved ikke, om du kender TripAdvisor? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Jeg kunne we, se, at du ikke rigtig gjort noget ud af det. Nej, no, we, we, probably what if, we, we more in, we just started a go there and all that. Altså turister, yeah. turister der kommer, ikke? de har på deres iPhone, har de TripAdvisor. Uh, så de går simpelthen og trykker på en knap og siger, hvad er den nærmeste restaurant? Og så er der stjerner for, hvad, hvad folk synes om restaurant, yeah. og så kan de læse reviews. Yeah. Og det er, jeg garanterer dig for noget af, af det, der driver yeah. rigtig mange turister rundt i øjeblikket. Yeah. Uh, og der er mange restauranter, der ikke tænker på det. De få, der gør det, de, de, de får mange kunder den vej fra. Yeah. We, we, we look at all these things about how we can better, you know. Mm. We more, we more into what we can better this, mm. the, not than the restaurant. But because we put it together, any marketing we do today, It's a combination, mm. but it could be 80% restaurant and 20%. Men TripAdvisor, det er jo både hoteller, yeah. uh, bed and breakfast, mm. det er restauranter, det er uh, excursion, altså du ved, yeah, yeah, yeah. og, uh, yeah. og så videre. I går aftes, der sad vi for eksempel og, og trykkede ind og kunne se, at der ligger en, en smuk dal med, 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 med et vandfald og en lille regnskov for eksempel. Det finder vi på TripAdvisor. Ikke? Yeah. Jeg fandt også din restaurant derover uh, uh, og, og som har fået ganske udmærkede anmeldelser, yeah. men du kunne have gjort det langt bedre. Altså, yeah. du, du kommer ikke op i toppen, og yeah. det vil du kunne gøre højst sandsynligt ved få timers arbejde, vil du yeah. kunne komme op i toppen, yeah. og så ville du være den højst rated restaurant i hele området. Det betyder, at alle turister, der kommer til at have TripAdvisor, hvad 20-30-40 procent har, eller bruger ud på krydstogsskibet, eller hvad fanden de ellers render under, det kommer, yeah. så vil de sidde og sige, hvad er, det, hvad er den bedste restaurant i området? Ikke? Yeah. Og det, det er den, de tager til. Hvorfor skulle de tage til den næstbedste? Ja, yeah. no, we, we just started, we, we got a consultant now that, that looking into the media advisor. And what we do with with the lodge now, that instead of have a picture, it's actually a little movie clip about the room, mm. you know. So he's advising us now. We sort of go into this. Mm. Jeg skal give dig 10 minutter bag efter, så skal jeg fortælle dig, hvad du skal gøre. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Men uh, hvor meget hvor meget arbejder du om ugen? Åh, oh, det er mere at sige, hvor meget arbejder jeg ikke om ugen. Du arbejder so, meget, det er også yeah, min fornemmelse. Yeah. Men... <coughs> Når det er arbejde, du kan lide, så er det ikke arbejde. Mm. You know? Så so, i restauranten, ja, yeah, it's, it's, it's 12 to 3, it's pretty full on. 6 to 9.30, it's pretty full on. But yeah, I'm there from 10.30 in the morning to 11 at night. But then I will sit, I will sit and talk to people. And, and yeah. So it's not, it's not full, sort of full on from I get in to go home. Mm. It, it's... It's leisurely work, and it's it's work I enjoy. Yeah. You know, like like, so it's not that oh, I'm tired. I have to go home. You know, mm. I don't have to concentrate on the machine that makes sure that is you know level with this. It it just work flow, you know. And I've done it all my life, so it's not that it. it har du stadig tid til at gå ud med din kone og ses i? Ja, øh, hun arbejder hernede. Ja, men det der, jeg mener, du er det, at hun er her. Altså, hvornår ses I så overhovedet? Om natten. Ja? Ja, yeah. <laughs> om natten. Ja, yeah, it, it has a, a little bit of problems, but you know, it, 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 it's minor. It, mm. We can see the light end of the tunnel. We, we know where we're going. Ja, ja. So, so we still, we still new in our own business. We work for somebody for many, many years. Mm. And we got a shorter time to get to the end than if we started 10 years ago mm. and could sort of, so it's hard work for say for 10 years. So we, we are up on six now, so we've got another four years yeah. and, and we should have got to that stage. Så som jeg satte jeg et mål og sagt, yeah. vi bruger de næste 10 år, hvor vi knokler igennem, og så når vi her yeah, til, yeah. og på det tidspunkt, så har vi lavet en business, der lidt kører sig selv, yeah, altså yeah, hvis man yeah. skal være lidt firkantet omkring yeah, yeah. det, og så kan vi t- trappe yeah. lidt ned og, yeah. og gøre lidt andet. <coughs> that's, that's sort of them, like I said, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, we, we stuck this on top of it, you know, but there's still a 10 years plan, but mm. instead of have 10 years at the lodge to work out what we're going to do, we now only got four years left. Because it's are you going to stick plan. with it? Also, hold on we will here. stick with it. Yeah, we'll stick with it. The lodge, because we 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 changed a couple of things in the lodge. You know, it's probably gone another two years on that. But it's out of our league because it's all to do with the council. Mm. We try to rezone this, and working with council, it, it it's a mm. nightmare. You know, so. So for so, for what 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 plan? Also rezoned to what? 
We we in close residential. Så I må egentlig ikke yeah. have et uh, hotel her eller hvad? Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. But we want a coffee shop out there. Ah. Så so, en lille café eller? Lille café, ja. Yeah. Ah. So we in process now, but it, it takes time, you know, yeah, right later. Det ville jo really også gøre i Danmark eller yeah, yeah. andre steder. So, It's probably shooting another two years on us, you know. But the breakfast room will be our cafe because there's no place in Devonport where you at any time can go and have a coffee, you know. Oh. And we know for the restaurant that we built on a little bit of the restaurant near the courtyard. Yeah. And that's a coffee shop. Even we not we've been too busy, we haven't finished it yet. Yeah. But we get people at nine, ten o'clock at night. Oh yeah, and thank God you open we can have a coffee. Yeah. You know. Again, it's tourist in in Sydney. You go out and eat at eight eight thirty at night. Mm. Here, all the restaurant closes at eight eight thirty, but we stay open, you know. Mm. So we we want to capture that coffee market, you know. Yeah. Uh, and that's the plan is still in ten years we mm. won't have the restaurant. So if we want to still capture the coffee market, we do it here. Oh, okay. And and we got the perfect. <coughs> Sort of ja, fuld udsigt. Det yeah, kan man yeah. ikke lige se på kameraet, men vi, vi har, vi, vi kan lige skimme det. Vi har havet herude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, der er uh, And fantastisk. We get a lot of, like I said, we Tasmania is 10 years behind, you know, mm. but they're catching up. In Sydney, you will sit outside and eat in 10 degrees, you know. Here, they won't sit out in 20 degrees, you know. But we start, not us, but but mm. we start changing. People will sit outside. People will have a coffee. We came six years ago. Can I have a coffee? Yes, yeah, sure. But I want two instant spoons in it. What? So there was still in six years ago. It's only six years ago. When you went to a restaurant, you had instant coffee. Uh, That's what uh, they serve. Uh, uh. And people were happy with that. Now, after six years, at least now, they expect the good coffee. Det var det samme, der skete i USA. Det var det samme, det var det samme der skete i USA, hvor Starbucks gik ind og tog det marked. Ikke? Yeah. Uh, Starbucks Coffee gik ind og læste amerikanerne, at der er andet end instant. Du kan yeah, faktisk yeah. Uh, du kan lave det på en bodum kan, eller yeah. du kan lave espresso, eller, yeah. eller noget andet. Ikke? Og det tog so, også 10 yeah. år. Så vi har set, at der er et marked for kaffe. Hvis Gloria James og dem ville komme ind, er der probably ikke nok mennesker for dem, because of deres marked og sådan noget. Der ville ikke være nok i Launceston, I think mm. there's a Gloria Jean or a Starbucks. Yeah, Gloria Jean, kan man sige, det er en uh, lokal australsk Starbucks kopi, uh, yeah. ligesom i, uh, i i Danmark man har. Åh, oh, hvad er det den hedder? Nå, det er da også lige meget. Det ved jeg. <laughs> Men uh, det er bare lige for. Så so vi, we, we, 22.000 people, you know, if if we can just mm. grab some of those people, and I can see from the restaurant, people start coming in just for coffee. Just for coffee. Yeah, so there comes still. You know, so there comes also sushi here too in day. Yeah, probably we won't do that, but there is a couple of sushi. But it never really took off. They they started they started a restaurant here, and it just in the start it was alright, but you get sick of that. It's just mm. the same, you know. Mm. But yeah. In Sydney, it's big, mm. very big in Sydney, but that's that's again the, the people, the culture. Mm. Need we don't have that here yet. Mm. And this one mean there's a lot of untapped business here. You're just gonna find it, yeah. you know. And like I said, I can see the coffee because our coffee sale from six years ago we used about one kilo coffee a, a week. Now we use probably 30, 40 kilo a week. Yeah, so we see. we can see where <clears throat> it's going, and if we stick to our plan, we go in in 10 years from the restaurant and and try to franchise it out. Yeah. We're gonna miss out a lot of money and I don't want to miss out on any money, you know? And that's why now with this, we mm. make the coffee shop here and it's pretty more easier just to make a couple of coffees mm. and, and then start a full mm. meal with the kitchen and all that. Mm. So we would just make a downable coffee shop, you know? Yeah. Jeg skal lige høre en gang. Uh, du fortalte lidt om, da I, da I flyttede her til at starte restauranten op, og I begik den fejl, at I ikke rigtig spurgte folk, hvad de ville have at spise. Mm. Er der andre fejl, du kan se tilbage på og sige, oh, I wish I've done that uh, in a different way? Er der noget andet, du ville have gjort? I probably wish I, I, I listened to Nicole and went to Tasmania 10 years ago, because that if, if we are, and it's not, it's not meaning bad about Tasmanian people, but they are, they are, 
further back. Nå, det er som so, hver ø samfund. Ligesom, yeah. jeg, har, jeg, har, jeg har sommerhus på Bornholm, det er præcis det samme. Yeah. Altså. But I just think, we, if, if we've been here 10 years ago, we would probably be multimillionaire now. Because if he, if he can bring what they're already doing over there down to here, mm. you know, you, and, and you're going to embrace people to do it and have it, they, they will have it. Mm. They will try, and if it's good, they will stick with you, you mm. know. So, yeah, if we've done that before, and like I said with the coffee, we I can see now coffee is just coming up and up and up and up, mm. and still no Tasmanian have opened a, mm. a Gloria Jean-style coffee shop. You still got the coffee shop at the mall, mm. opens at nine o'clock and closes at four o'clock. Yeah. But that's the time people are out, you know, doing their business. Mm. They want the coffee when they're finished. Så det, det, det du siger, det er, at du ville ønske, at du havde taget chancen og blevet selvstændig før. Oh, ah yeah. ja. Du, yeah, du skulle yeah. have... But, but in Tasmania, not in Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Because Sydney is advanced and... and yeah. I'm not saying it's a harder, but the competition is greater. Sydney er som en vanlig yeah. storby, ikke? Altså, yeah, det, om yeah. det, altså det, det, der er masser af forretninger, masser der vil slå hinanden ihjel for yeah. at lave den bedste restaurant yeah, og den bedste yeah. service. So og... we're talking about Tasmania, and, and yeah, I think any smart businessman to come down here and look at it and got a niche idea, mm. and it, it, it's value for money. Du kunne gøre det samme i Darwin. Ja, yeah, ja, yeah, probably, ja. Yeah, det er fuldstændig yeah. det samme. Yeah. Det, uh, men altså, But Darwin is pretty more, that's a bit more advanced than here. Isn't det er ikke meget. No. Det er ikke meget. Nej, yeah. det synes jeg ikke. But up there, and again, we've got to be careful what you say, but they got a big problem up there in all indigenous. With the aboriginals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a different, there's many people got the money. Mm. There, there's a lot of people, they say they're welfare, but they keep the money here, mm. you know. When they come to the restaurant, it's never an issue about they're coming out to eat. You know, they want four or five years. They want they want this and now. You know. Mm. Hvad er det, de tjener so, penge på i Tasmanien? <coughs> er det fiskeri uh, eller er det, uh, er det uh, turisme? Landbrug, landbrug. Landbrug. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and I think just because <coughs> because that in 10 years they've probably been 30 years in front. You know, like like mm. instead of go every year a little bit at a time. In the last 20 years, they've gone 40 years ahead, ja, but ja. still behind. Men ejendomsmarkedet er fandme yeah. også dyrt, mand. Du ser et hus, jeg så et lille hus oppe i bjergene, det er, du ved, som er to bedrooms og så videre. Op i, der, var ingen, der var ingenting deroppe. 3 millioner danske kroner. Yeah. 400.000, 450.000 Australian dollars. But I think the, the real estate market in Australia is... It's expensive. We we are known to be the most expensive, you know. Ja, det er ikke dyrt i Danmark, men altså det er jo også vanvittigt. But eight years ago, they started a spirit, which is our local ferry. Yeah. It goes. There's two spirit. One and two goes Devonport, Melbourne. Mm. So they cross each other on the sea. So there's always one here. Mm. They thought, let's get one to Sydney. Mm. You know. So they did one Devonport, Sydney, which was a a day and a bit sort of um, to get there so they had to rechange the boat you know they had more cabins and mm. all that but what happened on the first trip when the boat came down here it had all these supposedly rich Sydney people down here <coughs> a house in Sydney is 400,000 mm. you know and you just get a little house in nowhere and they came down here with their checkbook and thought wow man You can buy houses for 100,000, you know. So they bought five and six houses. The real estate market wasn't ready. They didn't know what the hell was happening. Mm. Oh, yesterday this guy came and he bought six houses. Wow. In one week, the houses here went up 200% in <laughs> one week. So when the Sydney people came down next week, because it only had two, sh- two sailings. Yeah, that's a problem. Suddenly the houses wasn't 100,000. There were 300,000, you know. And in the end, the ship they lasted about three years because they, the Tasmanian people woke up to it. Yeah, so really, so could you go sell for another house? Wow, man. <coughs> And now that comes back to where, how do they get all the money? There was a lot of smart Tasmanian at that time. You ah, know? So they And they made the money on their real estate, ah, you know. Okay. And there was Tom, Dick and Harry, you know. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't they were just, wow, this guy want to buy my house for 200,000, 
Så det er lidt ligesom øh, den måde, danskerne følte sig rige på indtil 2008, at øh, det hus, du købte for 3 millioner, steg til 9 millioner, så blev vi med at tage lån i husen og alt muligt. Yeah, andet, og yeah. På et eller andet yeah. tidspunkt bliver det interessant, yeah. skulle jeg hilse at sige. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so they made a lot of money, and I think they're pretty smart people, you know, so mm. they invested that money in, in whichever way they invested it. Yeah. But one thing I find, they're not short of money here, no. you know, but they're short of to spend that money. They, they need to spend that money in somewhere. And Og der er ikke andet at bruge dem på. There is, but there's not. You can do the old same things. Nå, hvis du går ned i lokale center her, for eksempel. Ikke? Yeah. Du ser ikke nogen af de kædeforretninger, du ser alle andre steder. Altså, du kan ikke bare lige gå ned og købe en Gucci-taske, eller... Oh, no, no, no. Eller, But altså, I, du I ser think... ingenting af det, no, no. praktisk talt. Yeah. But this will mean, that there's a market here yeah, for the sure. smart man to just think, this what I'm gonna do. What it is, I don't know. But I found service stake that people want, not what you mm. want to serve them, what they want. Mm. And now we, we see the coffee comes up, so we make the mm. coffee shop. But a coffee shop, not nine to five, Nej. but maybe eight to ten at night. Basalt set skal du bare sidde og kigge på, hvad der fungerer i Sydney, og så putte det ind her og have yeah. have patience. Yeah. Yeah. Altså, fordi det tager jo, du tager ikke bare noget fra Sydney. Hvis du starter med at sælge sushi nede i havnen her, så vil du ikke sælge særlig meget først. Yeah, yeah. Men om 10 år, når, når, når folk i Tasmanien gider at spise sushi, Yeah. Så ville det være fedt at have sushi-kæden øh, oh, yeah. til din investment, nu oh, du bare yeah. for. Yeah. Jeg skal lige, altså, du fortalte noget om, at, 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 at du i starten, at, at du var så broke, altså det var så hårdt, så du ringede oh, til yeah. din datter. Øh, når, når du sidder, altså det at ringe til din datter og, og spørge, om man kan låne penge, det, altså, så, er man, så, er man, så, er man, så er man i problemer. Hvordan takler du det? Altså hvordan, hvordan gør du inden i dig selv? Ah, oh, I, I suppose it's the way we brought up and... and With my kids, we, we, it's about work and, 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 you know, I would come home at night and Sean would say, I need five dollars for the school tomorrow. Mm. Sure, make me a cup of tea and I'll pay you five dollars for doing it. So it's all about we do things for each other. Mm. They had just moved to Sydney, from, to mm. Melbourne, from Sydney to mm. Melbourne, you know. And the same thing, you know, Dad, can you move us to Melbourne? And I said, sure, you know, we'll, but it's going to cost you, you know. Mm. And I moved them to Melbourne, and Nicole said, "How much?" I said, "Don't worry about it, but remember, you mm. owe me one." You know. Men, so it was, it was fairly, e- and it's not as crude as I just said ah, now. Jeg, det forstår, jeg forstår. Jeg forstår godt den jeres indtag. Nu tænker yeah. jeg bare mere. Altså, når man når man sidder i den situation, hvor at man er så broke, fordi at at at, 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 at så har tingene hårdt. Altså, hvordan, hvordan, hvordan gør du ind i dig selv? Altså, nu tænker jeg ikke så meget i forhold til din datter. Jeg tænker mere, når man sidder på gulvet der og tænker, what the bloody hell have I done? Altså, du, yeah. nu har jeg lavet den her restaurant, du ved, og jeg, 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 de vil ikke købe min so- sauce og, og så videre. Yeah. Og du ved, altså, får du så ikke lyst til at give op? Nej, because jeg, jeg vidste, jeg kunne gøre det. Men jeg... Hvordan vidste du det? Åh, oh, it's in the heart, mate. Mm. You just know... You could see from from remember we went out and so you didn't nah, nah, doubt. No. Nah. Remember we went out to people when they didn't want to buy these fancy sauce de ver and you know pork belly with with twice stewed capsicums, mm. you know. We we thought, what the hell, you know? In Sydney that would sell like hot cake. Mm. So we went out on a day and just went out and had sort of a coffee here and there and spoke to people, you know, what, what do you eat? Where mm. do you go and eat and all that? Mm. And we worked out where people go and eat and we mm. went to those restaurants and had a look and thought, ha, we can do this better and we can probably do it cheaper. So, so når du får et so, problem, så, så løser du det bare? Ja. Yeah, yeah. Du sætter dig ikke ned og tuder eller nah, tænker, nu nah, giver nah, jeg nah, op nah, og, nah. Du ved, og, og, og det er også noget, jeg går, jeg, det kan være, jeg kan finde job nede i havnen eller... Ja, yeah, ah, nej, 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 nej. Because yeah, I have... I know we were on the right track. Hvordan har, du, just, hvordan har du fået den self-confidence? Altså, hvordan har du fået uh, den, hvor du siger, selvfølgelig kan jeg det? I don't know. I don't know. Altså, mange andre, mange andre folk ville jo sætte sig ned og tænke, Åh, du ved, nu har jeg lavet et restaurant her, men folk i Tasmanien spiser jo bare, ikke vel? Altså, yeah, because, uh, because we, we quickly, it's about, it's not about you, it's about them. I think if you can put in a mind, it's not me, it's them. If you can change them mm. to be you, you know, then you're all right. So we needed to not worry about how good our meals are, but worry about what is that deception of the meal? And that deception of the meal was, 
we can't even pronounce it, mm. let alone why would we eat something we don't know what is. And by go around, we spent two days to go around coffee shop. There were three of us. There was a chef, a manager, and me. Went around a coffee shop and, and sort of had a look and, and, you know, and we just worked out, nah, this, this is what they want, you know. And we just went back and, and we just redeveloped the menu. We made some you know, spoke to people, we reinvented it. And I think with the new name, which I said, you know, we, you can put up this on the new management, people say, oh, still the same, you know. So with the new name and now the new menu, which was what people told us they want, you know. Mm. So if you have the trust in the people mm. that they will support you if they say, this is what we want. Mm. And, and you got enough of this, if everybody said, we want blue. If enough people tell you they want blue, you're crazy enough not to make it blue mm. because that's what people want. Mm. And that's how we worked, you know. So we, we changed it and, and, and I had no, but we just need that little extra money because remember, going back, I worked for a company, I had my own company and it, it didn't go too well. It was all right and we would survive. And then I went back to work for these people so I never had the capital to really start my own. It was just, why do I do it for these people? No, I problem. do all the study, <clears throat> I do all, I know what I have to do. And, and we had the figures and back to, you know, figures speaks and all these people said this and, and I had the figures for the restaurant mm -hmm. in Burnie. I copied Burnie to Devonport. Devonport is supposedly a more influential city. You know, we get more tourists. Mm. So I will capture some people with money from Sydney. I will capture the people here, which is supposedly having more money than Bernie. Mm. We didn't do the feasibility study for mm. here. I just did it for Bernie and the mm. West Coast because that's where Bernie people mm. come from. And, and they were very, very so, good. So, so det du siger det er, altså, at du satte dig ned og gjorde dit forarbejde. Du, du gjorde dit studies for at finde ud af, om det kunne hænge sammen. Og da du ligesom havde fundet ud af op i dit hoved og på regnearket, at det hang sammen, så yeah, but, kørte du bare på. Yeah, but, but see, what, what I'm saying is, I work for Blackstone Restaurant. Mm. They employed me to come here and do mm. a visibility study yeah, yeah, præcis. in Bernie, which is 50 kilometers from here. Yeah, og den her but vil, after, vil, after vil. we done all the visibility study, and I said to Milka, look at this, it, 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 it all says there's money here. Why are we doing it for these people? Men hvordan laver du sådan en visibility yeah. study? Altså, hvordan, hvordan... Oh, you go around and, 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 and you just, you sit outside a restaurant, you know, what's the best restaurant in, in Bernie? You get a couple of names. <laughs> you sit in your car and count how many people goes in there. Okay, you know? so simple. Yeah, it's not simple, but yeah, so simple, you know. Then then you analyze the menu, what it is. Then you go to the couch, you know, how many people owns their houses. And, and you get all these figures put together you know disposable income yeah, yeah, yeah you know the, the rent is this much they own this much you know and they got that much so they got 30 dollars to spend and you know it, it's a long process but it took me about two weeks to to get some things together that we could work with but it was all very positive probably too positive to think i must have done a mistake here somewhere you know but I'm pretty good with my figures, so no, it, it is right, you know, I was careful, I count these people, I did this, I did that. And when it all came back like that, I thought, oh man, why do I do it for these people? I mm. said to Milka, we have to do it ourselves, mm. you know. But, you know, I'm an honest <coughs> man, so I didn't want to do anything in Bernie. Oh, you know, I, you know, you know, so I said, where's the best city? Devonport. I wanted to live on the coast, Devonport. Yeah. It's very duplicated, but we got maybe a thousand people more than Bernie. So it was all the same, but the story that I got told, people in Bernie had a little bit more money mm. and a little bit better jobs. So I thought, if this is so good, this must be better, mm. you know? So when we got onto the restaurant, we bought that and all that. And when the first two weeks, I thought, oh man, what have I got? You know, I've done something wrong. But then when you sit down and look at the, you know, you look at your menu and think, what's wrong? The, these people last night couldn't even pronounce it. Mm. Why would they eat something they can't even pronounce, you know? And that's when we thought, now we have to go back to the drawing board. 
we went out and sort of canvassed the city, you know, where do we eat? What? And we, we pretended we were somebody from Africa, you know, I can't remember where we were from, just to interview with people, what do you eat, you know? So again, game plans back to what mm. I got taught, you know, we play with people and, and mm. see it to get some ideas. And like I said, okay, change the name, get the new menu going, and it took about two weeks or so. Mm. But I needed money because we weren't in a position <coughs> first to buy a restaurant, you know. I mortgaged my house in Sydney to get the mm. money here, you know. And and a little bit private, at that stage, we ju I just been through a divorce, you know. And when I say she took half the money, she's entitled to half what mm. we had. And today we're still the best friends, but she took half. So I was really screwed, you know, I didn't mm. have much money. I wanted to stay in the house, which I couldn't afford, you know, so I had to work extra hard mm. to afford to be in the house. So we didn't have money. Nicole had the greatest faith in me. When she came down after probably about six months, she came down here. she cried, dad, I'm so proud of you. I mean, the last thing I want to tell her you know, we're going to sell it, we don't want to do it, we, yeah. we just can't do it, mm. you know, they, nobody's coming. Mm. I thought, no, no way, man, I know we can do this, we change it, we do this, I just need some money. Mm. So the call to Nicole was, I knew she had faith in me, we could do it, mm. it was easy. Mm. You know, because of the relationship and all that, it, mm. it was pretty easy, you know. We helped her <coughs> out and, and mm. this time, that needs to help, and it wasn't about Oh man, I'm gonna ask. You no, know, it, it was it was pretty. Mm. It was a business thing, you know. Mm. She's a business woman, you know. She she's not a little girl, you know. She's a business woman, and and no, it was it was pretty. Mm. And straight away, you know, mm. yes, Dad, what's your account number? Mm. It wasn't a million dollars, mm. you know. It was just to tie us all for two yeah, or three weeks. Hvad er det der driver dig? Altså, det er jo meget arbejde, det du laver, og 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 så hvad er hvad er det der gør, at du står op om morgenen? Altså, hvad hvad er det der? I think I think it's it, it's a joy in people. It's a joy in people. I love people. And just what happened the other day, and read the paper. Don't always read the paper. And again, I read the paper. There's this notice, you know, Paralympic from Devonport wins the tennis, the Australian tennis championship. And I thought, I've never seen this guy. And who comes in that night? The Paralympic tennis championship. Just walks in, sit down and eat. And I say, you're Scott. I say, you're Scott, you just want the bloody hell. And I stood in the middle of the restaurant. This is Scott. He just won the tennis championship. I didn't say Paralympic. Mm. Well, not Paralympic, what they call it. Um, yeah, I know what it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 He just won the, the tennis championship, you know. I knew there was a tennis championship, but mm. I didn't sort of pay too much attention. Mm. I knew there was there because event here means more people to us, mm. so I need to be aware of sort of. But I didn't need. So he just sat there, you know, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he ate his meal and all that. And I said, Scott. This is on me because you're an achiever, you know? Oh, no, no, I want to pay. I said, Scott, you're an achiever. Just go, I pay for you. And he went. Next day, which was yesterday, this woman rang up and she was hysterical. She couldn't talk. She was crying. And I tried to get it. What is it you want? And in the end, she calmed that much down. That was the mother of Scott. And she said, I have never met anybody giving Scott anything and told him he's an achiever, wow. you know, he, he, he's, he's disabled and everybody just looked down on him. He comes to your restaurant, you announced to the whole restaurant who he is, you made him so important, you know, I can't thank you enough. That guy is smiling and telling everybody that he won the championship, even it's three days ago, where he never told anybody he won it when he won it. Now he's going around telling everybody he won it, you know. That makes me yeah, wanting to, to work. And that's that's what we do, you know. We mm. make people you're important. Fit. You're important. And that, that drives you, you know. Yeah. Like like this morning we had two people coming on the boat, you know, six thirty. And you know, Milka said, Why do you want to pick them up six thirty? I say it's not about picking them up. I make them important. I come in my little car, I pick them up, I take them to the lodge and they're gonna remember me forever. <laughs> you know, and that's why 6.30 I went to the 
both pick these two people up and go, oh, wow, you know. And that, what is it to me? Two minutes in the boat. But to them, the impression, we went to this little bed and breakfast in Devonport, you know, a couple of rooms, you know, looks a bit run down from the outside. But they picked us up from the boat and it cost me nothing. Uh. Yeah, it, 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 that's, that's, <coughs> your, that's your marketing, mm. you know. You know, and we do, we do that. Milka doesn't. Oh, you get up, you come home late. You get up six thirty to pick up two people. You know, mm. it's not about the two people picking up. It's about the two people telling another two people. They're telling another two people. Mm. You know, so that's our marketing, mm. and that's what I like to do. To see the people, you know, be happy. You know that. You know, and if you believe in that, then the rest is alright. You know. You be, når så de 10 år er gået, og, og du skal til at slappe med af, hvad skal du så? Og vi skal ikke slappe af, men, men vi, skal, vi skal gøre the lots better, you know, and then with the coffee shop. But it will all be, we don't have big personnel and, and you know, but slappe af. Maybe a little bit of fishing, a little bit of golfing, mm. you know, but it, slappe af, nah. Jeg tror, at hvis jeg slapper af, så køber jeg en kiste og sagde goodbye. You know? so, det, det, det lyder lidt for afslappende. Ja, ja, ja. Jeg er en af de mennesker, der liker at være around people. Jeg liker at være around people og møde mennesker. Du fortæller en historie. Du fortalte mig din historie, uden at du måske ved, at du fortalte din historie. Men det er det, det er om. Det holder mig ung og you know? mm. and Det gør folk happy. Mm. No, just, just. Hvis du skulle lave en anden forretning her på øen, som ikke skulle være inden for food, hvad vil du så lave? Oh, day. I, I, I don't know anything else. I, I really don't know. Men du ser ikke et eller andet for et eller andet, et eller andet hvor du siger, at det, det mangler der fandme her, det kunne man godt lave penge på. If, if, if you speak to Milka, my partner, I mean, she will tell you, and she will be very vivid about it, a, a, a smart clothing shop. You know, yeah, something yeah. something smart, not just your T-shirt, yeah. but something a little bit some more. Some more joy. Some yeah, more yeah. If you see the shops here, that you go to the shop, then we have an A-frame outside, new arrivals. You know, it's very, oh wow, what is it? And, and it's something very simple that probably they got from Sydney that is now out of fashion, mm. and they brought it here okay. to be in fashion. You know, so. With Milka, you know, it's probably still will go ahead. We get a little shop with with ding dangles, you know. Mm. I don't know. Do you know Diva? Uh, it's, no. it's all it's all <coughs> accessories, oh, you know, yeah, chains. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. If you look at Milka next time, things you things you'll buy in China for nothing and yeah. sell for something a s- s- little bit, yeah, but yeah. making a huge uh, percent wise yeah, yeah. profit. But but things like that, like like fake diamonds and all that, yeah. and, and make people feel happy. They mm. don't have the money to buy a diamond, no. but if they can have a diamond that looks like a diamond and feel like a diamond, mm. you know. But but not to be ripped off about the price, but you know, and Milka done that very well to a lot of people here. You know, when she goes to Sydney, she buys all these things and she gives it to them. You know, have this one. You know, and now you see these people today. You know, they got diamonds. You know, and I think there's a market here for that. You know, mm. but again. It's not a market for me because I don't wear anything. Oh, but it's a market for Milka. She wears it. She <coughs> believes in it. So they believes in there, you know. Mm. But I think we we talked about it and all that, and we talked to Diva about it. But Diva is like a chain of them. Yeah. But they weren't interested because in their figure we're too small. They, they, mm. There's not enough people. Mm. But there's not enough people because they're looking out on a big scale. Yeah. You know? To us, we're just looking at it just for Milka to have something to do. Yeah. You know. So, what else is there? It's hard to say, but. Mm. But there are a lot more. I think I can see. Also, that. I think there's a lot, but but the experienced person has to come and see. So, if you're mm. experienced in in videoing things, maybe there's a market for you know video. Like we just like I said, we got a media manager now, and instead of 
still pictures on our website, mm. we will now have a movie on the room. Mm. So instead of you going and see just one picture of the bed, one picture up there, there's actually a movie mm. telling about what it is in your mm. room, you know. And I think it's, it's a thing, you know, if you hear and see at the same time, mm. it, it sticks better to you mm. than if you just see a picture and then you have to read about it, mm. you know. So little things like that, mm. th th there's market, there's definitely mm. plenty, plenty of market, mm. but the man has to come and see here. And I think here's a market for if you can say you're from Africa or China or Denmark, you know, mm. I'm from Denmark and I sell little howfuls to you, you know, and they spurt water if you push them, <laughs> that could be a market. You know, the, the people like that. They've been so isolated for so long. Yeah, they so want some influence. Open over for new things. Yeah, they want some influence from mm. the outside, and and mm. you know, but just they can see they're not getting ripped off, mm. and and you can see this is what we like mm. and what we mm. want. Not just say, this is what I got. This is what you have to buy. Mm. But they they so they really in their uh, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hvis nogen i værkstedet der kom til dig og sagde, har du et godt råd eller to til mig, uh, fordi jeg vil godt starte en business, hvad er det vigtigste du kan fortælle mig? Listen to them, don't listen to you. Let let them be the judge. You know that this is what they want, and if you can make it what they want, come and do it. Mm. Yeah. But if, like with the restaurant, I said. We we were very good operators with all these fancy food, you know. It don't work. They want steak, chips and eggs. So mm. we, we we took the heart out of it and said, okay, we just make steak, chips and egg. And then we just put the heart back in to make a good steak, chip and egg, mm. you know. And I think that that's what it is. Come with the market idea, you know. Research it and maybe tweak it to, in, in like I said, you know, you got this beautiful blue, you know, thing you're gonna sell here, and the blue is the best, absolute the best. But if enough people come down here and say it's gonna be red, <laughs> I don't bloody like red. I mean, it's not what you like. Mm. They're telling you they want red, they want to buy the red, make the red. Mm. You know, so I think that that's the. And no, here's the sheet I can spot on. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Tusind tak. Du, du, du yeah. står i restauranten og, og arbejder her, yeah, så jeg vil, yeah. ikke, jeg vil ikke tage mere af din tid, yeah, men det yeah. var fantastisk. Yeah, jeg synes, yeah. det var fantastisk at komme til, til Tasmanien og få noget af de, yeah. nogle af de bedste managementråd, jeg har, yeah. jeg har fået på hele den her tur. Ja, yeah. <laughs> good on you. Tusind tak. All right, good on you. Thanks. Det var Jan fra Tasmanien. Jeg er stadigvæk helt høj over, at... Uh, man tager til først til Australien, som ligger så langt væk, og derfra over til Tasmanien, og fra i Tasmanien til en lille bitte by med 20.000 indbyggere. Og så møder man sådan en fyr som Jan, som har sagt nogle af de klogeste ting omkring det at have med personaler og kunder at gøre. Det, er, det synes jeg er, er, er helt fantastisk. Hans energi og hans passion i det at, at empower people, som man kalder amerikanerne. Jeg ved ikke, hvad det danske ord er. Det at, at, at tage... Øh, det er at gøre den lille mand vigtig, så den lille mand føler, at får et bedre liv og får en bedre energi, behandler kunderne bedre osv. Det synes jeg er fantastisk. Og så er det en måde, at en helt lavpraktisk kører viral marketing på, uden at kende ordet overhovedet. Jeg synes, det er så fedt og giver så meget bagvild til alt det der social media pis, når det kommer til stykket, at alle sådan restaurantejere fra in the middle of if nowhere kan gå ind og lave noget så fedt, som det han har gjort her. Så... Øh Næste step, det er New Zealand, og det glæder vi os rigtig meget til. Nu skal vi lige bruge et par dage her på, på Tasmanien på arbejde og slappe lidt af, og så skal vi videre der til at møde nogle rigtig spændende mennesker. Men ved om det senere. Så se mere ind på Amino TV, der kommer meget mere af samme skuffe.